you have a massive problem. And you're not just lying to yourself about it, you're also lying to your you know, fake channel. Checking in, Jonathan here. And while I am absolutely not a medical professional, by any stretch of the imagination, I know that a lot of us aging men have ED issues. And what makes matters worse is that we're just quite frankly lying to our doctors about it. You go in for your annual physical, the doctor asks if you're smoking, if you're drinking alcohol, and if you have any other health issues you wanna discuss, then you just sit there and nod your head no. No! 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 To absolutely add insult to dysfunctional injury, unfortunately, the ED medication on the market can get quite costly. I may just have the best solution available, Friday plans, what is proclaimed to be the cheapest, least expensive, easily attainable ED medication. But what's the catch? Now, full disclosure, Friday Plans reached out to me and said, we want an honest review. And of course, you know that's all we do on this channel. And after I agreed to it, they sent me a list of talking points. And you know I told them to hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. While Friday Plans may or may not be happy with today's video, rest assured you're getting my honest thoughts on their product. And frankly, if it's something that is worth your hard-earned money. At face value, Friday Plans is a direct-to-patient service specializing in generic ED medication. Now, it's all on the up and up. Everything is approved by a legitimate doctor, and it's produced in a GMP facility. The process just it really couldn't be any easier. You go to their website, you spend literally two minutes filling out a questionnaire. It is reviewed by a doctor, and if you are approved, they will send your prescription to you directly in a discreet package with three-day shipping. Now, don't be fooled by the website. When you go there, you're gonna think that some 1990s cyberpunk created the website, that it's fugazi, that it's a scam, but I will tell you, it's legit. Friday Plans offers two types of generic ED medication and delivers it at rock bottom basement prices. And I will say I went to look at the complaints about the company. And the biggest complaints were from when they first started out, they only offered one generic version of Viagra. And a lot of people wanted the generic version of Cialis, which they now offer. Reason being is Viagra has a shorter window of use and Cialis has basically a longer path in terms of being able to take it and then utilize the effects hours and hours later. I also am not a medical professional, but I think that some doctors actually prescribe Cialis or the generic version of Cialis as a way to help with men's prostate because of the increased blood flow. I need to thank you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. Using those links helps keep this ice bath cold enough to give me a uniball in the summertime. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a free thank you gift. Now, some of you might be wary about taking generic medication because you know full well the store cola does not taste nearly as good as classical Coca-Cola. Well, when it comes to the medication, it's not like the colas in the grocery store. Generic medications are essentially the same exact thing as the name brand. Case in point, you go into a Target or a Walmart, you will see Tylenol on the shelf. And right next to it is an off-label brand, acetaminophen. They're exactly the same thing, but one costs a whole heck of a lot less. So let's do a Friday plans unboxing. This actually arrived in a very discreet cardboard box. For those of you that are concerned, So each serving is in a packet form. And frankly, I wish they had just put them all in a bottle because this is a bit annoying, right? Trying to keep these around. And obviously it's convenient if you're on traveling or whatever, you can just tear one and go. However, I really wish they put these in a bottle, but overall the packaging and the branding is on point. I just don't know if I'd want to be storing this in a drawer um, looking like this. It kind of looks a little bit weird, but overall, it's what they claim it to be in terms of the medication and the dosage and the amount. Cost. 
the number one reason that Friday Plans shines like a diamond, an inexpensive diamond. They have the lowest cost for ED medication on the market. Even if you were to get a prescription from your local doctor, go through your insurance company, you're still gonna be paying more per serving than Friday Plans. And Friday Plans went another step further, making all of the dosages the same price. So when you go in and you click the dosage of product that you want, it's the same whether you get like 10 milligrams or 40 milligrams, and it makes it much more convenient and basically has you not having to overthink which prescription you get. Like every company these days, whether it's generic ED medication or your Netflix subscription, they give you an initial discount for being a new member. And frankly, the prices are so low. I think it's less than like 87 cents per serving. At the very least, you've got to try it just to lock in that first time massive savings. Now, many of you want to know what is the gotcha? What's the bait and switch? What is the rug pull? I want the truth! And after that initial pricing, you are going to be paying about $2 per pill. But if you sign up for six months of the subscription package in advance, you can save 20% off of that price. <gasps> now, what about the complaints online? You know, we do honest reviews. I do my research. I went in and looked at most of the complaints that were there. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of them were from years ago when they only offered one type of medication. Now they offer two, so that's all well and good. The other major complaints I saw were for the subscription charges. So if you do sign up for a subscription, keep in mind your credit card is going to be charged every time they deliver the product. And a lot of people got really just taken by surprise because like most of us, we just forget which subscriptions we have. So while everything is on the up and up, if you do sign up for a subscription package, you've got to make sure you know what you're signing up for and when you were going to expect it because some people might not need a whole massive subscription every month. Forget about online reviews and complaints. We know that there are Chads and Karens that will complain about everything. How does Friday Plans actually stand with reputable sites? So Trustpilot, which is an online review platform that verifies the reviews, they have 4.4 out of five stars. And with the Better Business Bureau, which is probably the creme de la creme of sites because at the end of the day, if you have a problem with the company, you would complain to the Better Business Bureau. They have four out of five stars. So clearly people are overly happy with Friday plans and don't feel like they are getting ripped off whatsoever. And now it's time. It is time for my final thoughts when it comes to Friday plans. And at the end of the day, I would 100% absolutely rather fill out a two minute questionnaire online rather than drive to my doctor's, wait in the waiting room, talk to my doctor and completely feel uncomfortable asking him about this kind of stuff only to have a prescription prescribed to me and then ultimately get railroaded by my insurance company and have to pay through the nose when in fact I can just get it for dirt cheap prices. Now I will tell you, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call, this video was sponsored by Friday Plans, but we only do honest reviews. I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to go in and take advantage of the initial pricing, the rock bottom basement pricing, the pricing they use to pull you in because this thing is so inexpensive. I don't know why you wouldn't try it at least once. Did we just become best friends? Yep. John Connor and YouTube's artificial intelligence know that you want to watch one of these two trending videos next. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.